Okay, so you're at home late one night, it's four o'clock in the morning, and you look out in a parking lot full of cars, and they start honking at each other. What do you do? Do Call you the think cops, they're talking right? to each other? A fire outside. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do you think they're talking to each other? Has the has the AI taken over? And this is what happened to Waymo's. The robo taxis are trying to park themselves in their like lot where they go to at night. And so, you know, it's kind of like the secret life of pets. The yeah. secret life of AI cars. <laughs> where do they go at night? What are they doing? Well, apparently they're just honking each other. So the software says, if I see a car backing up to me, I'm going to honk at them. And they got in this endless loop where they just honk and honk and honk at each other, like a classic New Yorker. You know, that's, that's kind of how New Yorkers are. So um, I looked at several AI fails in recent memory, you know, which is kind of cool, kind of like this, you know, where, I don't know, Zillow, where they turn their AI loose oh, by all yes. the houses you can. And, and it, it did. bought too many. <laughs> <laughs> it bought them all. I didn't you know. see that. Yeah. Oh, and they gosh. had to, they had to lay off, you know, thousands of employees and full disclosure. Off, when this happened to you, by the way, I had Zillow stock and it yeah. killed it. Oh, yeah. No. I didn't have a lot, but I had enough that it lost a little bit. So, wow. and a lot of times when we look at, if you just Google AI fails, you know, um, it's always chat to be making a funny meme or something like that. And, and people get stressed out over that. But as we go into this, like interconnected devices and things, the stakes get a little bit higher. Like what can these cars do? There was a Tesla car that um, they had a death in the car where a tractor trailer went across the, the windshield of the car on autopilot. It was a bright white day. The truck was white and the brake wasn't applied and it went underneath the tractor trailer, killed the driver. And so it couldn't distinguish between the bright white sky and the thing. And so like, while, you know, Tesla came out and you can read it on their blog, you know, like one in 68, 68 million people die in car wrecks every year. And we've had one, I mean, it's kind of, it, it kind of rings on deaf ears when that happens because like, you feel like if you're in control, you had a shot. Right. And so this is where AI is going to have to be perfect. The level, the, the bar is up here is way up here for these oh, yeah. devices. Uh, and it's funny, but it's also weird when you see it because like software always does exactly what you tell it to do. It just doesn't do what you thought it would do, right. you know? And so that's the way software works. Um, and one of the things about AI that I find interesting is like the things that it has, which is one of the problems is what's called catastrophic memory loss. And so like they'll teach AI, hey, recognize deep fakes, for example. And when the simple ones came out, it could easily determine a deep fake. And then the more sophisticated ones came out and they said, okay, now do this. And it says, okay, I can recognize those, but it forgot how to do the easy ones. And so what it does, it's like Alzheimer's almost where it, 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 if you teach it something else, it forgets about the other thing. And it has a really big problem with what's called catastrophic memory loss. And so these things don't carry over like a human brain does where you remember when you were a child, you put your hand on the hot stove that carries the rest of your life. You know, even if you have a scar or don't have a scar, you remember it forever. It's a vivid right. memory. AI doesn't do that. And so they, there's some, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think the cars were talking to each other? That's the conspiracy theory. Like, you know, they're talking to each other, oh planning the demise of, you know, San Francisco. Um, I do <laughs> think Waymo's cool, though. I do really think this is going to be a thing for us in the future. Like we're going to have driverless cars that drive I around. I think in this case, this is just an edge case they didn't think of. Yeah. Because yeah. it makes sense that the car would honk, right? If something's going to reverse into it, it would honk. It doesn't know that it's another AI car trying to reverse into it, right? It yeah. just knows, hey, something is going to reverse into me, therefore honk the horn, let them know I'm there, right? It makes sense. What yeah. they didn't think was <laughs> they're all going to go to the same parking lot and literally they're just going to go back and forth and start honking at each other as one tries to reverse into the other. I mean, literally, I, I'm guessing there could be a standoff. What if two try to reverse into each other and there's like literally a standoff where they just keep honking? Well, that's like, what was happening. They couldn't, just, they couldn't figure out. It's just an edge like, case, right? It's just an edge yeah. case that they just didn't think of. And it makes me wonder how many other edge cases have they not thought of? Right. Because my guess is lots. lots. There's going to be lots that are going to come about. Maybe this thing like needs to learn all these different edge cases. I saw a follow-up to this that said they fixed it. You see the follow-up story? It said that they fixed the issue, right? And then I saw the very next day, they, they, so they fixed it through software, which is great, yeah. right? Yeah, Just throw sure. out a software update to all the cars. Awesome. Fixed. Right. Good to go. The next day, there's more video of people with the same issues. Like, I don't think you quite think you've done what you think you've done. <laughs> Well, like, like they the did it. Problem. They went into like a cul-de-sac and like <laughs> just like kept <laughs> kept going. But yeah. the funny thing with that is, and you guys are software developers, so you totally get it. But like the way you think this, like okay, I know the software is going to work like this, but.
but you don't have other people's brains and you don't use the technology the way this person does and that person does. Yeah. And so that's how you find the bugs is because like you release it out into the world and they're like, Oh, I didn't think that people would do that with it, you know? <laughs> yeah. And exactly this, you know, so when it's based on software, there are going to be like, I mean, it's a bug obviously, but where like when it's in the real world, you're like, Oh, I, I didn't think it, it would do that. And there's just going to well, be so many and even things. If it, even if it did do that, right, you wouldn't think... So again, it's a good use case for it to honk when something's in front of it. Right. But it's not a good use case when it's 4 a.m. in the morning right. too, right? Like, <laughs> that's the other thing. It didn't take into account, like, the time of day at all or its location that it's in the middle of apartment complexes. Right. I will link the original video, by the way, in the description because the original video is actually funny to watch. It's not very long. But the lady that's commenting on it, filming it out of her window because she's literally sat there on her phone it does have not safe for work uh, language in it. Sure. So it. She's basically like, it's effing 4 a.m. What are these cars doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's so annoyed. And I would oh, be too. I would so be annoyed. Because yeah. this is yeah. a constant thing for them. This is not a one-off. This has been happening for a while. And it right. took them, like, literally this video to go viral for them to even address this. Right. So What I don't understand is why doesn't the software say, oh, this is another Waymo car? Right. Like, we don't you need could to program hunt. that into it. <laughs> yeah, it's again, like a, edge case. They just didn't think that through, did they? Yeah. So, they, like, you know, again, if it's another car, it's another human, you know. Because um, it seems like they could give a nonverbal to another Waymo car. Oh, for you know, sure. You just well, have to honk sure it. You can't hear the honk. I mean, <laughs> like, you know. It's not reacting to the honk, I'm guessing. <laughs> you know, Although, maybe it is. Maybe it is, though. Maybe there are speakers on that react. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't think there are. I think it's just cameras, right? I don't think it reacts yeah. to sound. I've never heard that it's interacting with sound. Yeah. You know, like the guy's leaning out through it. Hey, buddy, <laughs> move it. Your Waymo's like, I'm moving here. I'm moving. <laughs> I'm moving. He's answering back. <laughs> George Costanza, you know, in the, the, the Seinfeld episode. <laughs> I'm not moving. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I think there's a lot of um there's a lot of additional things they have to think about with these. Um and I've always said there's this there's this weird time frame between like going fully autonomous for everything and humans and autonomy working at the same time. And there's always going to be these weird edge cases. Um and like you said, there's gonna be the bar is so high for AI where as for normal people, like like you mentioned, Tesla is gonna point out that there's many car fatalities, but as soon as we hear one that's caused by AI, it just right. It does feel different, right? It, it does, does feel different because yeah. you feel like you had a chance if you were driving. Like I would have never done that, you know, but right. people do it every day, you know? So like, but us as humans, we feel like we would never do that. Yeah. You know, right. we feel like we would react differently. Um, but it is weird though. I do think that we are a long ways away though, because I do think they're rolling out in these specific cities for a reason is that San Francisco can be mapped. Some of these grid based cities can be mapped. You know, Kevin, you come to our tech capital, the world Kernersville. Good luck. I don't. It's gonna have. It's gonna have a hard time. Yeah. <laughs> so, Good luck. Yeah. The city planner here was drunk. I think. Like, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Lots of curves. You know, like you know, every now and then we'll get a circle. You know, where you can go around in traffic, but then a lot yep. of times, you know, right yep. turns I think, only. I think this is still you know? in test. Right. That's what it is. Yeah. It's still a test. Even though this is public and anybody can jump in one of these, right. it's still a test. I. I still think I would jump in one for a short ride. I know you wouldn't, Sarah. I know no, no. <laughs> I would go on a short ride just to see. Like, I well, know. I think a taxi cab in New York is feels dangerous. Oh, a hundred percent. Like yeah. every time I'm in a taxi cab in New York, I have to like close my eyes and just like trust that I'll get to where I'm going. Like, yeah, I mean, you I, see, well, and the reason I is uh, yes, because it's we know. I think they're kind of prone to having accidents, and you look at the car when you get in, it's like. This thing's like beat up, man. Why it's is it been so through a lot? Because oh, he's had yeah. a million accidents in it. I yeah. just don't want to be the next one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they get so close to the other cars. Oh, yeah. The, like, yeah. I literally cannot look when I am in a New York taxi. I would rather walk from Central Park down to the Statue of Liberty than get in a taxi. That is how much I'm scared of taxis in New York. Yeah, I'm more scared of the subway. So, oh, I would get oh, the, subway. the subway. All no, day. yeah, subway. subway all day. No, subway all day for sure. Yeah. No, that's too many people. So. <laughs> well, the people side, but yeah, give me the subway any day. Um, yeah, but I don't know. I mean, I guess I wonder if we'll see this kind of thing in New York. I don't know. Um, it's it would be the ultimate test oh, for it. <laughs> gosh, I think. Well, I would let me not say impossible. It's really hard. Like the road situation, just the edge cases. 
Yep. The I edge mean, cases walkers, in New York. <laughs> bikers, yeah. Yeah. crazy people. Yeah. Just also like people scooters. just darting in and out of traffic, scooters, the whole that's yeah. If you can do it there, you can do it anywhere. Yeah. Anyway, I, I, I agreed. It's like it's the ultimate that's test. The song. For this. <laughs> <laughs> you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. New that's York. That's it, Waymo. New York. Get to New York. We need you to fulfill the prophecy of the song. <laughs> like and because they can't control like there are so many things that other people do in New York on the road that like I guarantee it's not programmed for. There's, <laughs> yeah, I agree there's more edge cases. If they can't figure out the parking lot honking edge case in San Francisco, <laughs> the million of edge cases that are going to be in New York are just far exceed this. Yeah. I yeah. I don't know. And then suburban theory and suburban America and then you know even like rural America, it just seems really hard. Like if you've ever been in rural America trying to drive around like in the for us, the state of Virginia, or any of the back roads, there are no street lights. Yeah. Like it is dark, dark at night, you know, and like it's going to have a hard time trying to find the road. I think, you know, like it's just it's difficult, even for a regular driver. You know, you feel like, you know, and then then you factor in weather, rain and all those other things. It's like, I don't know. But I would love to have a car that I could just send out and get food for me. That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. If I don't have to get in it, sure. Great. <laughs> a, it could go pick up the groceries. That would be amazing. Up. You know, yeah. you know, reverse I do DoorDash. want the fully, I, 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 I would like the fully autonomous car. The one that yeah. I just say, I get in and I say, like, take me to the beach, like five hours away. And it just like takes me to the beach. And I don't yeah. have to drive and concentrate for five hours. And like, it just takes me yeah. there. I would love that. And I can do something else. I can watch a movie or something. Like, the problem is they'll never roll out a hybrid system that says this will be autonomous on a highway, which I think it could really do. But the moment you come off the highway, you've got to take control. But if you gave that to a lot of people, they'll go to sleep in the back. Exactly. Oh, right. they, I mean, they do it now. We've seen <laughs> know, videos on there's videos online of people like literally sleeping in a Tesla with full self driving on. It's so dangerous. And so you can't give it to people because they're just they're dumb i mean like they'll just do dumb things with that you know? humanity is doomed because of humanity right yeah yeah you know and it just needs if you fall asleep in the back seat of the car it just needs to pull over on the side and go i guess you need to sleep yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait that and then they're would mad. be amazing oh but then my you know gosh. What, but then you know what would happen all you would have you'd have people who would invent like masks that make yeah. you look like you're awake but you're actually asleep to trick tricking the, the ai car. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to invent that imagine? right now. You get your blanket out and you're like, okay, wake me up when we get to the beach and you fall asleep and you're still in the driveway when you wake up five hours later. It's like, sorry, you fell asleep, bro. I'm not, I'm not, I'll wait. I'll wait. You're good. In the city streets where the silence was sweet, now there's a noise makes it hard to sleep. They say it's the future just around the bend. But this constant sound, when will it end?
our symphony of sound We're living in the future But it's breaking us down In this race to progress Did we leave behind The simple peace The quiet of mind